episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And A24 is giving us something we weren't expecting. So Very from unique. them, we got in some hor some some strange horror suspense thrillers. Yeah. We've gotten some thrillers in general. And here we're getting a fantasy medieval story. Of so this Arthurian is Arthurian lore. Of our on the Arthurian lore. Arthurian so lore. bear with us. We we're had, the best we we had to do here. a bit more research before recording this. This is the, our reaction. This is gonna be our reaction to the official teaser trailer for the Green Knight. This is based off of uh, of an Arthurian tale called Sir Gawain. I apologize if I screwed that up. And the Green Knight. Now in the film, Dev Patel plays Sir Gawain, and according to it's supposed to be more of a fantasy setting according to the premise. But the basic story is that yeah. Sir Gawain, who's a, a, a member of the round King Arthur's Round, round Table, table yeah. and even considered one of um, King Arthur's greatest champions, accepts a challenge from a mysterious Green Knight, who dares any knight to strike him with his axe if he will take a return blow in exactly 366 days, or a year and a day, pretty yeah. much. So that's the basic premise. I'm not going to get into any more... But, yeah, this ha has, uh, like I said, Dev Patel, uh, Alicia Vikander, Joel Edgerton. It's from the, it's being directed and written by the guy who directed the Peach Dragon Disney remake and Old Man the Gun. Which are yeah, big two, really good movies. two really regard good movies. So, yeah. like, and we know A24 knows how to pick them. Oh, so. yeah, they've been... They're another. They're another uh, studio company that just know how to pick this good movie. So yeah, and this ta and his tale, the Green Knight tale, goes as far <laughs> back apparently as the 14th century. Shit. So yeah. let's dive into this for the official teaser trailer for the Green Knight. So here we go. That's true. You look like a little, uh, Jesus. Make the fuck? Oh, dude, your head's on fire. Like, oh, we're man. tossing that all out the window, what you just said. Pretty much. Tell me a tale of yourself. So that I might know thee. H24 is like, you want it? No, no. They were like, I looked at H24 and going, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Come on, let's get nuts. And like a fantasy setting and stuff like that. Yeah. So, ah, uh, that film looks interesting. It's a teaser trailer, so it doesn't get much, but definitely more of a fantasy telling of this story. Like, definitely more of a fantasy tale. And... Man, it definitely looks like uh, uh, Sir Gawain is definitely on a journey all of it itself, man. feels like it's definitely going to be very... It, 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 yeah, it's fantasy filled, but it's also going to be very psychological, it looks like. Oh, definitely. I mean, you, can feel the sense you start of the with somebody's head on fire. I mean... So that's what it feels like we're getting here, is something where it's really going to dive into your psyche of what's really what's going on, what's happening, what he's going through, trying to get through this, it feels like. Um... I don't get that sense of the tell you said, but maybe it's maybe it's like it is still telling that tell, but in a well, unique that, way. I, I, well, remember I said it was a fantasy retelling. What I read was the basic. Watch, well, I said they're gonna retell it, but in a, in a different, unique type of way than what we so, have. It, so so they they might add a whole much more to it. They to they, really give it more aspect or more. 
Yeah. Meaning. I, 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 yeah, I don't know how long the actual original tale is. It could be, as far as I know, it could be a few pages. It could be the length of a fucking Lord of the Rings book. You know, I'm not yeah. entirely sure. I like the design, of, like you said, that, that the last shot they had there. That last design definitely reminded me of something that you get from, like, Guillermo del Toro from, like, Pan's Labyrinth. Like, mm-hmm. that, that design, that look. Um, you know, I really like that, that, that aspect of that. Um, but, yeah, that's what I'm getting, though. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're getting really like something very. It's like you know you, you really have to follow what's going on. It's like you, you know you're following this guy, but this guy's also trying to figure out everything that's happening. Yeah, I mean, it looks like he's about to fight a giant in one shot. Then another shot, he looks like he's fighting a, like a tree-looking mother, tall tree-looking motherfucker in another. So I mean, trust me, I'm invested. I want to see more. It's, yeah, I want to see what the hell is going on because what I read is. Knocking the same vibe from what I'm seeing, you know. Mm-hmm. So I mean, yeah, I'm definitely curious to check out more on this one. What about you? Same here. I wouldn't mind seeing a, a, a like another full trailer for this because this is only the teaser. Yeah, go fucking figure. It's only the teaser trailer for this. Who boy, man? Can't wait to see what. This way it starts off. I like it because it's like it's like. You know, you've heard of all this, this, this. Well, guess what? We're tossing this out. I did love, I did love. Tan you know, that's, what, that's what it felt like. It felt like it was saying, you know, all this you've ever heard of, but we're tossing out that off the window. I did love the tagline of this yeah. back during a time when honor meant everything. It meant everything. Courage, and that's what the story you know, is. Meant you, you know, you, it was a, courage meant you were a king or something like that. And you know? just basic, like after reading the basic premise and seeing that, that makes sense based off the tale. Or the premise of the tale. It's like you're throwing all that out the window for you. You know, it's like well, everything that he's ever believed in, it's like you don't believe in it. You know, it's like you literally have to let go on this. Yeah, so definitely can't wait to check out more of this overall. It just looks bonkers. Bonkers as medieval bonkers can get in a fancy my set. word of the day today is bonkers. Oh, it's bonkers in this. That too. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about where or not I got the Arthurian fun facts right or not, hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys' thought, uh, thoughts are on this uh, tra- uh, teaser trailer overall. If you know the tale behind this story, you know know a lot about it, things like that, what do your guys' take on this uh, retelling of it. Does it look like they're doing a good job? Do you think it's going to be very interesting? Or do you want to see like more of a full trailer get like more of a gist of what's really going on? Love to hear you guys' thoughts down below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very Sir Gawain filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.